Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to add textures in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading, and then click X to delete the default cube. Then go into Create and add a monkey, and then click S to scale, and then left click to confirm the scale. And then we need to go into the modifiers and add the Subdivision Surface modifier to add additional uh, polygons. Set it to 2. And then go into tools, and uh, we need to add smooth shading. So click smooth shading, and then apply the uh, subdivision surface modifier. Now the next step, and the most important step, is to go into edit mode. So click tab to go into edit mode, or select it down here. And then click U to unwrap the uh, object. And then we can open a new window, and go into the UV image editor, and then add a texture to the object. Okay, so here you can see the projection, and then just use any image from uh, the internet or wherever you have it, and add the texture to the object. So I'm going to use the military camouflage, and then open it in the UV image editor. So uh, let's select it, and then open image, and as you can see, we have the uh, camouflage. Now the unwrapping can have many shapes and sizes depending on the type of projection. So if you click U, you can change the type of uh, projection. So let's try the cube type, the uh, cylinder type and the sphere type. And I think the sphere type is best for this object, so you just have to test it out. And then click S to scale it down, and then G, then X to grab it on the x-axis. And then left click to confirm. Okay, so now we have unwrapped the object and added the vertices to the uh, texture. So uh, now we can finally add the material and add the texture to the material. So click uh, New Material and then change the material to Glossy. This is optional. And then go to Image Texture and then select the image we added. And it's very important that you select it from the drop down menu. And then increase the roughness as well to make it look better. And then we need to go into object mode and select the lamp by right clicking. Then change it into a sun, change the size to 1, and then increase the strength so that the sun becomes stronger. Then click G to grab, and then R to rotate the sun. And when you go into rendered view, you will see what it looks like. So we have the texture. So uh, let's click shift set to go back to solid view. And then select the monkey, click tab to go into edit mode. And uh, now when we go into render view again and move the uh, vertices on the uh, texture map, you will see that we change the texture on the monkey. So you have a lot of control over the texture, so uh, just play around and uh, learn how to use it. Okay, so I think it's time to go to the next step, so uh, let's just make the background completely white. Click numpad 0 to look through the camera, and then click shift F to use the fly cam. And you move around with W, A, S, and D, and you can turn gravity on and off by clicking Tab. And then uh, go into the render settings. If you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. Change the resolution quality to 100%, and then go into the sampling. And you might want to increase the amount of samples if you want a better quality render. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size to 500. If not, just use 64 if you have a CPU. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.